In 1997, the IBM Deep Blue became the first machine to defeat a human at chess. Fast forward 25 years and the machines have been perfecting their art and learning at an incredible rate. So much so that it's making a lot of graphic designers worried. But the apps I'm about to show you in this video are gonna make you happy, unless you're a graphic designer, in which case, I'm sorry. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys five crazy AI art apps that you must try right now because you won't believe your human eyes until you do. And full disclosure, these apps do use AI cloud processing, which is only free for a while. The good news is you can trial run a lot of these apps for free. And if any of them genuinely amaze you so much so that you want to sign up forever, you can do that too. And if you do do that, I don't make any money from it. I'm just your tour guide for this video. So I'm just going to stick to the script anyway, right this way. Number one. So all of the five apps I'm going to show you in this video are available on iOS and Android, and they will improve as we go along. So make sure you stick around to the end. And let's start with this one. It's called Wonder AI. And there's a great feature here on Wonder AI, and it's the ability to actually specify the size of the image you want it to output. So if you want a one by one square, you can choose that there. And as you can see, there's a lot of different styles to choose from here. And if you go to see all, you can see how many presets there are. And this might be brand new to you, but you can actually write anything you want here in the prompt area. But if you wanna get some inspiration on how to create a good bit of art, using this app, you can actually look at some of these other ones that were made by other people. And when you see one that you like, you can literally copy and paste the words of that into the description and then modify the description to the image that you want. For example, this cyberpunk one here looks pretty cool. So we'll go to use this prompt. That then puts that prompt up in the top box here and then we can add changes to this. For example, if I want this to be London and not Tokyo, Let's say we want Big Ben in the shot. We could literally just put a comma and add Big Ben. All you need to do is choose the style that you want and go to create. And the great thing about this particular app is it actually gives you three versions of the image to choose from at the end. That middle one there looked really good to me. And when you've got an image that you like, you can literally just download it. And you can also edit the prompt as well after the fact. So if you want to change the image a little bit more and add an extra prompt, let's say, I don't know, let's put the moon in the background. We can add moon as a prompt here and go to recreate. And now you can see how it's changed the image entirely just by adding that one prompt. And if you want to, you can publish your image to the community and share it with other people on the Wonder AI app. And something else that's really cool that you can do here is add one of your own photos. So if you go here, choose a photo of your own from your own gallery, let's say this one here, we can crop it to the size of the image that we want to use. And it will actually use this as a reference for the image. So you can actually create a pretty cool style just with your own image. But be wary of the prompts up here as well. So I'm just gonna put man. That is pretty damn awesome. Even though it doesn't look much like me, it kind of is me. It's like multiverse me. Okay, so I told you they get better as we go along and some might consider this one to be better than Wonder AI, but just like Wonder AI, you do have to subscribe and you do get three days free. And don't be scared to use AI to remind you to cancel at any time like this. Alexa, remind me to cancel Wonder AI in three days time. What time Friday should I remind you? Lunchtime. What time Friday should I remind you? Lunchtime. What time Thursday should I remind you? God damn it, Alexa. Is that midday or midnight? So there is proof that AI isn't quite perfect just yet. <laughs> But don't be scared to use the machines against the machines like they did in that old film, Terminator 2. Now this one, Dream by Wombo, is pretty cool. You can write whatever you want, just like before, by hitting the plus and typing in whatever it is you want it to create an image of. But this one does appear to have a lot more styles, which in my opinion, makes it better than Wonder AI. And I've noticed with this particular app, it's really good at creating crossover art. For example, if you write something like this, Iron Man, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, choose your style. I've gone with this one here, abstract fluid and hit create. You get four variations of the image and this one in the bottom left looks really cool. So I'm just gonna tap that one there. And what you can do now is go to finalize and you can render out that image in the best quality. But if you're not happy with any of the results here, you could just tap this, make variations and start again. And the great thing about crossover art is it's kind of not infringing on any kind of copyrights. At least that's what I'm told. Once you're happy with the image, you can go to download here, download as original, or even go to download as phone background. And there you go, you've got your own unique AI rendered image for your wallpaper 
on your phone. And just like Wonder AI, you've also got the option to add your own image. So I've got a picture of the dog here and you can actually adjust the amount of influence that image has on the final artwork. So we can set it to strong all the way up and keep in mind the prompts do affect the image even when you put a photo in there. So I'm just gonna put dog and see what happens. So there we go, you get the idea. You can do a lot with this app. There's also a great community interacting here and you can see the prompts that they use to create their AI art renditions. Trust me, it's worth giving this one a go, even if it is only for three days. So this next one is called Lenza. And I saw SuperSaf posted some amazing AI avatars on his socials recently. And that's what sent me down this rabbit hole searching for the best AI art apps that I could find. And this is the app that I believe he used. Like the others, there is a free trial. With this one, it's one week, so that's pretty good. Alexa, set a reminder to cancel Lenza in one week. What time the 12th of December should I remind you? 12. Is that midday or midnight? We've been through this, lunchtime. Okay. Now this one is one of the best ones out there and the sales team behind Lenza are savvy when it comes to money because they know you'll probably cancel the annual subscription once you get your avatars from it. But here's the good thing, you can buy a pack of 100 images for a couple of quid. And that's what most people have done with this app. So to create your avatars, hit the little flashing button in the top left corner here. So I've already created a pack of avatars already, but if I wanted to do a new pack, I could go to generate new. Here it tells you the requirements for the photos. You ideally should upload 20 unique photos, none too similar than the others for the best results. And just make sure you follow the rules as well. Otherwise it won't work. I did try to do 20 photos of the dog to see what it would do, but it doesn't recognize animals at this point in time, only humans. So once you've uploaded your 10 to 20 unique photos of yourself, Lenza AI ships them off to the cloud and sends them back to you in a few hours and the results are pretty incredible. The app also has many other interesting neural filters and effects that you can do manually. But let's be honest about this, the AI avatar generator on this one is so good why would you want to go to all that effort yourself when the artificial intelligence is just so much better? <laughs> and if you're a graphic designer, maybe you can still do better than this for now. Okay, number four, this one is not free, but it is also the cheapest one to actually buy. It's less than five pounds here in the UK and it's called AI Generator by Tap Universe. And the great thing about this one is if you do buy it, it's yours forever and you can use it as much as you like so there's no need to set an AI reminder to cancel it. And I believe it's cheaper because getting the desired result is a little bit harder here with this app. You can type in whatever you want to create like the other apps, but it does require a few more prompts to get something good out of it. But here's a little trick for using this one. If you look at the pre-designed images here, you can actually see some of the prompts that those people have used. For example, this one here for this dog, if I go to copy prompt and paste it up here, what I can now do is change some of the words to other things. For example, this is a beautiful portrait of a cute cyberpunk dog. We could change that to uh, a cat, for example. You can see the color scheme is purple and blue. We could change that to another color. Let's say red and orange. And these are all similar keywords that you can use in the other apps as well. So get familiar with some of these things like high detail, fine detail, Unreal Engine, photorealistic, these are all prompts that will be recognized by AI. And if you really know what you're doing, there is an advanced section here as well, but for now, I'm just gonna to go to generate. And here we go, here's our cyberpunk cat with the red and orange, it looks really cool. And that is incredibly unique, unless somebody else has typed in exactly the same thing, and the AI has managed to generate exactly the same image twice, which is very rare. Once you're happy with the end result, you can hit save, save it to your library, and there you go, images on your phone. And the reason this is number four is the fact that there is no subscription involved. And the great thing about an app like this, as it improves and the AI learns more from more users putting in more requests, it's only gonna get better and better. And at some point, if it gets that good, I'm pretty sure they will put a subscription model in place. So it might be worth investing in this one early. Okay, so I've saved the best for last. This one is completely free for a certain amount of renders. It's the best of the best in my opinion, and it's still only in the beta phase at the time of this video. And that honestly is quite scary because it's so good already. To access it, you're gonna to need to download Discord and create an account on Discord if you don't have one already. Now in your web browser, 
navigate to this website, mid journey.com here you can join the beta or maybe if it's in the future this won't be in the beta anymore tap that and you're halfway there and now it will open discord and ask you to accept the invite do that and you will now be on the discord server for mid journey so i'm going to tell you something you already know respect the community's rules here and read the guides and the guidelines once you've done that you're ready to start your trial and you can render 25 images for free but a word of advice only fools rush in that's what i did don't be like me because i used all my 25 renders really quickly <laughs> and now i am subscribed but i honestly do believe it's worth every penny because it is that good so when you're getting started out you want to go to the newbie rooms here and all you need to do is write forward slash imagine and then it'll ask you for your prompts. So I was recently watching a PewDiePie video and I noticed that he likes pugs, Gundams and surfing. So that's what I'm gonna write here. And remember some of those other prompts that we saw earlier on on the other apps, stuff like Unreal Engine. Let's try add that. Now this gets picked up by the mid journey bot and you've got to be a little bit more patient with this one than the other ones. And you can see slowly my request is being created by the AI. So now I've got my first fast render of the image that I'm looking for. And we have these characters down here. V1 is the top left, V2 is the top right, V3 is bottom left, V4 is the bottom right. We can choose to upscale these images a bit if we want to. For example, if I wanted to upscale that first one, I could hit this. That sends a request to the bot to now upscale that particular image. Here is the upscaled version of the surfing pug on the big wave in Japan. And you can see it's still rendering. It's still 54%. So it's going to get a lot better than this. And I just noticed that the pug is actually wearing a Gundam suit. And here we have the almost finished version of the image. We can actually upscale it even more, upscale to the max before we download it. And once you're happy with the finished image, all you need to do is tap on it, hit download here. That will then save it to your photo gallery. And there we go. There's a surfing pug wearing a Gundam suit in Japan, just for PewDiePie. So honestly, guys, I knew AI art was becoming a thing. I just didn't know how good it was. And out of all of the apps I've tried so far, the Mid Journey AI is the most impressive. In fact, it's so good. Like I said before, I've already signed up to it. I think it's $9.99 a month and then you get 200 renders, but you can cancel at any time if you want to. And I saw some really good logo design being made on there as well. So I might even try and redesign my logo using AI and see what it comes back with. So imagine this, 25 years ago, we started losing to computers at chess, and this is what AI is capable of now, 25 years later. And the question is, is it soon gonna be checkmate for the human race or vice versa? And if you're wondering why I look really sad here in my space suit, it's because Every time I ask you guys to subscribe, you be like, No, no, I don't think I will. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't be late.